What is up guys, welcome to the vlog. Today we are completing what is really the last step before we get the Subaru. So like I said, the Subaru will be finished by the end of this week or early next week. So what we're doing today is we are gathering the final pieces to the car that the body shop needs to get this thing rolling and get it finished. So step one for today, load up the old stock Subaru wheels and tires because if you did see the video on the Subaru getting crashed, whenever the person wrecked into the car, really destroyed my passenger side tire as well as my driver's side tire. Has a a lot of camber wear because I didn't get an alignment after after I put the stock Evo wheels on so it's really really showing wire and everything. So it desperately needs these stock wheels and tires which pretty much haven't been used since I bought the car. So we're gonna bring these to the body shop as well as step number two for today is to grab the front wide body fenders so that when they are painting the front bumper and the fender in the front they can blend in all of this paint with the front wide body fender so we have a bunch of mismatched colored pieces to the car. It's all gonna color match perfectly so Let's load these up, load the tires up, and we need to find where I put my, my old lug nuts because I do have locking nuts on the Subaru right now and I don't know where the locking key is. So yeah, I need new lug nuts so we don't have to use the locking key anymore. Okay, and here we have the two front wide body pieces. Now, if you remember, I'm not 100% sure whether I'm gonna use this piece that connects to the front bumper or not, but I will bring it to them to paint, just to be 100% positive, in case I modify this and kind of like mold it to the Varus front bumper. But for now, let's just take both of these full pieces, get them painted, and I think we'll be ready to go. I also found these Buddy Club racing lug nuts while I was getting the wheels and loading up the wide body. These should be perfect for the WRX, and so I'll go ahead and give these to Gerardo once I get there and bring everything else to him. But the WRX is about to go through full paint. I've had a lot of questions about, is the WRX getting wrapped like the Evo? Is it getting painted? What's going on with the car? So I'm gonna explain that once we get to the body shop. I'll show you guys a little progress update on the WRX once we get there, and we'll talk about it more. But see you guys when we get to the body shop. All right, we have made it to the body shop. Let's check on the Subaru. Oh, it is. Oh yeah, you got the bumper all. Okay, so not as far along as I thought, but they did fit the bumper up, make sure the bumper fits and everything. As you can see, they did a little bit of work to the side as well as up top right here to make it fit perfectly. They also have carbon fiber hood on and I'm about to do some tape work so they know exactly where I want the paint to lay. As well as he told me, whenever they get the wide body fenders on, so they're gonna have to blend from the front bumper all the way back into the door so that it all matches perfectly and then there's no mismatching colors on the car, which is gonna be perfect. Now for the part that you guys are all wondering about, and that is what color am I doing the car? The car is just gonna be the regular dark gray metallic. We're gonna get this all cleaned up, fully detailed. As you guys can tell, it's pretty disgusting from just sitting in pretty much a graveyard for months and months, but this car is about to be revived, looking brand new. It's gonna be amazing. It is gonna be the stock Subaru dark gray metallic color, which in my opinion is the favorite color that you can get the WRX or STI in, and it's one of the more rare colors. So what I decided to do was keep that color since it's such an awesome and good looking color, especially on this car. And it'll save me a lot of money because as you guys know, I'm really kind of getting tired of the Evo wrap and I wanna get rid of the wrap and turn it into paint. So what I'm gonna do pretty soon is once I get my wide body for the Evo, we're gonna take the wrap off and send it in for paint. So I'd rather save the money, have this the color that I really like, and then have the Evo a completely new color. By the end of this week or early next week, I should have the car back in my possession and we can start actually working on this thing. Ah, oh, it's been such a long process guys, but I promise, I promise it's gonna come back. We're almost done boys, we're almost done. 
Uh, okay, we have finally made it home. Before we end this video, there are two things left that I have to do today. Number one is, I hate saying this, but today I am officially starting the new bulking diet to help me pack on some weight for the show I'm doing this summer. So we're gonna go to the grocery store and I'm gonna show some of my fit bros what I'm eating to help gain some weight. And number two is, I have really, really been slacking on taking pictures of my cars and I'm running out of pictures for Instagram and I used to post like once a day on Instagram. So I'm really slacking. And one of those reasons why I'm slacking is because this is my main camera that I used to take pictures on and I broke it for the second time. You guys can see the lens is currently stuck on here and the body and the sensor is all messed up. So I have to bring this to a camera shop, but I literally got this fixed for like $800 like a month ago. The following week I got it fixed. I broke it again. I accidentally dropped it again. So can't keep making excuses. We're gonna use the camera that I'm vlogging on currently. And we're gonna go take some pictures of one of my cars. I made a poll on Instagram whether I should shoot the Evo or the GTR today. So I'm waiting for that to run out so I can see which one you guys want me to shoot more. But I guess while we're waiting, let's head to the grocery store, get my shopping finished up, and go get some gains, bros. to the grocery store. Right. Time to go get some groceries. A good grocery getter. All right. I think one of the hardest things for me is eating when it comes to working out and stuff like that because I do a lot of traveling. So I'm hoping that filming everything and filming my workouts and what I eat and stuff will help me stay on track throughout this entire thing. But just got home with my groceries. I'm gonna cook this. And by the time I'm done cooking, it should be time to go shoot one of the cars. Eventually. All right, guys, it is finally time to shoot. And I did a poll on my Instagram story to ask you guys whether I should shoot the Evo or the GTR, and it was extremely close. We had 4,386 votes for the Evo and 4,100 votes for the GTR. You guys asked for it. We're gonna shoot the Evo today. We came to this little road that's pretty much deserted on the side of the highway, and I thought it'd be a cool little location to uh, try and shoot the Evo. I usually do a lot of beach shoots, so I kind of want to challenge myself to not do any beach shots for a while because those always look good and then just have like this empty road and make this look cool somehow so I'm gonna go and get my camera set up and I'll show you guys exactly what I'm using oh and by the way I know I told you guys that these backpacks along with the Legends Media fall drop comes out on the 16th we actually have to push it back to uh, September 30th a lot of the stuff that we ordered is now getting delayed so like our shirts most of these backpacks and some other stuff is delayed so I decided instead of making you guys wait for shipping we'll just go ahead and push the entire drop back so the drop is going from the 16th to the 30th we're gonna have everything plus a little bit more since we pushed the date back i'll have more info towards the end of the week for you guys but remember september 30th not the 16th yeah okay now for the shoot today we have my a7s2 along with the 24 to 70 g master to go with it this is one of my favorite lenses especially for when i do my videos it's incredibly sharp and I didn't used to shoot too much with Sony, but now that I got this lens, it's really, really good. So this is kind of the layout we have for our first location, just kind of in the middle. Gonna try and incorporate some of these yellow lines as well as some of the drift marks from over there in my shots. Hopefully it comes out pretty cool. Let's do it.
So as I was shooting the Evo, we had this awesome R32 Skyline come by. Eric, what's up, dude? What up, man? Eric is a subscriber and he has this awesome, what is it, a GTST? GTST. That's awesome, dude. And is it, is it built or anything like that? Not yet. We're building a 25 on the side. Oh, wow. So that's that should be pretty high horsepower. They were actually passing by and they saw me shooting, so we decided to stop by. This thing sounds incredible. I'll show you guys whenever he starts to leave, but it's always awesome getting to see another skyline. So unfortunately, like, I don't know if you guys can see back there, but there's a ton of cars that just pulled up while we were shooting. So I think we're gonna go back to the beach spot because I really wanna shoot with that GTR and the only other spot I know to go to right now because it's super late before the sun goes down is the beach. So I'll see you guys once we get there. made it to our little shooting spot. I know I do a lot of shoots here, but so worth it, especially for the both of us. And this is really the only spot I could think of because the sun is almost down, but. guys i think that is going to be the end of the video that was a very awesome surprise that eric came with his awesome skyline can't believe the first shoot with a skyline and my evo wasn't with my skyline but it's totally fine because his is super super sick so thank you so much for watching this video we're gonna get the subaru back as soon as possible i'm gonna go ahead and finish up taking some pictures if you want to see any of these pictures be sure to follow both of our instagrams they will be on the screen right now i'll see you guys in the next one peace out